morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. We are up, we are active, waiting for our ride to come pick us up so we can go do this little UTV tour. Oh, our, tour, our bus is here. All right, we were trying to get Starbucks, but our ride just came after 12 minutes of being late. But that's how it works, right? So, let's go have some fun. was so rough all right tore me up shake me up Whew, but it's pretty out here so it's worth it i guess y'all catching these views yes views yes so nice y'all the weather out here is amazing like it's not too hot it's just perfect like a beautiful day. So amazing. Nobody's digging over there. Oh, if you guys go find some, guys, if you find some gold, you need to share it with me as well. Yeah. I brought you guys here. Where are you guys from? Where you guys, um, where you guys live? Like in New York or Texas? Well, see, that's, that's the company. So we work together. And with our job, we... We're flying this city, yeah. so we fly a lot. Oh. I live in Houston. He lives in... I live in... I tell wherever he lives. lives. I know, right? But I'm, I really live in Florida. I live in Florida. Nirvana is the name of this whole resort. Yeah. Nirvana. Yeah. Nirvana. 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 Nir
the natural pool. It's nice and cool and refreshing. How nice is this? Come on, Aruba. Give me vibes. <laughs> Love it. go to Zara <laughs> it's right next to the uh, restaurant so you want to just like walk over there and eat do a little shopping and we can find something to get into tonight my lipstick has finally came off it lasted the whole day I'm so surprised even in the water okay Riri I see you Riri oh yes fresh out the shower gonna give me a little Starbucks refresher finally go to Zara y'all know I've been waiting on that and then Roberto and I are gonna go to this restaurant that our tour guide recommended that's right behind our hotel. So, oh, and finally a little chill, relaxation time. Finally. <laughs> you know what I really need in Zara? is something to wear back to New York tomorrow. Why? Because I didn't pack anything warm enough to wear back into New York. This little, this is, this is cute. <laughs> Zara got me y'all. Okay, where's this restaurant? Right here. So I went for just my regular Zara souvenir, but then I realized I didn't have anything to wear back to New York, so I bought a whole outfit. Earrings, shirt, pants, and shoes. <laughs> oh, and I don't know what Roberto did over there, but he spent more money than I did, so they got him. Yeah. I wasn't even planning on spending money. Then I got around these clothes and I'm like, oh shoot. It's Where, worth it. Where's the place at? You don't find it. What's the name of it? Uh, something Plum. Coco Plum. Coco Plum? I'm hungry, so Coco Plum need to show its face. The best local food. Christmas platter? What's that? Coco Plum restaurant. Let's see what they're talking about. Alright, so we have garlic shrimp. Plantain. What? What's the real name of it? Pan something, I don't know. Pan, pan, cornbread, aka pancakes. Planted. What you call this? Planted. Oh, okay, yeah, planted. And wine. What well, Roberto got? Pancakes, planted. What kind of fish is that? Snapper? Uh, no, salmon. Salmon? Oh, well, looks good. Yeah. That meal was legit the best meal that I've had since we've been in Aruba. Um, it was just like a home-cooked meal. Pops back there in the kitchen, hitting pots and pans, mommy and son out front, busting tables, taking orders. It was a very good meal. I still don't really understand like their type of cuisine, like what is like real Aruba, what they call themselves, Floreans. No, that's the currency. No, that's the current, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I still don't get like yeah. what the cuisine is because it was just shrimp and whatever and whatever. It's just like seafood. It's yeah, good. yeah, yeah, true. It was good though, very good. You come to Aruba, go to Coco Plum or Plum Coco. Coco, Coco Plum. Plum. Coco Plum. Yummy this. All right, guys. So it is time for the reason for the season Bible verse. So what I just realized is that the last two days and then today and then like for the next few days, it's all a continuation of Luke 1, basically the story of Jesus' birth. So that's why they've been so long. I don't know why I didn't piece that together earlier. Somebody asked, am I just pulling these out of like thin air? No, I'm following a chart that I Googled. And these are just the daily verses that I'm reading. So 
Today is Luke 1, 26 through 38, the birth of Jesus foretold. <clears throat> In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent an angel, Gabriel, to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be the son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Amen. That really just gave me chills, y'all, like no lie. <sighs> I'm, mm. Okay, anyways, so go back and if, if this Bible verse is like coming forward to your brain now and like you're realizing what, what we're discussing, go back and listen to the last two Vlogmas days. And they are the verses that lead up to this. Um, anyways, Roberto and I are about to record a YouTube video for his channel. I'll link his channel down below for y'all. And um, Roberto. And hey, um, then we're going to go out. Tonight's our last night here in Aruba. So yeah. I'm cute. I put on heels tonight. Roberto's like, where are you going in them heels? I don't know, but I'm going, okay? Legs, just is, regular. legs is on fleek. Like, we're going somewhere. <laughs> Um, anyways, we're going to record this, go find something to eat, maybe, you know, anyways, so, hi! Hello, YouTube bro, I don't know, I only got like a few followers on, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, this is my friend Alexia right here. Hello! Uh, so, Alexia and I actually work for the same airline, um, and I've been on her channel, and I feel like someone like her does this amazing so i'm just trying to be like her so uh i figured i'd return the favor and put her on my channel um and ask her these series of questions as you know i'm gonna try to get more people that are in flight and say their experience How many people? Uh, we've made it to the california lighthouse that's the lighthouse we should have came here earlier in the day so we could have really gotten the views like the views views but that's all right it's an italian restaurant here so gonna see if it's good Alex our host from the ATV said it was so so but inexpensive <laughs> so let's see what we get well Google lied Google said it closes at 11 and it doesn't so we might try to like run out of here tomorrow morning because it, it looks really nice and I do want to see it and look at the store we found somewhere else to eat some some something Italian Hopefully it's yummy to my tummy. I'm gonna get some pasta because I have. Well, I did have a little, bit, a little bit of gnocchi the other day at that buffet. But when I go back to the United States, I'll get back to my keto lifestyle. Mind y'all business. <laughs> well, I spoke too soon because I'm not paying fifty dollars for pasta. <laughs> I don't know who the hell they think they are, but Alexia is not paying fifty dollars for five shrimp. No, no. Spot number three. Hopefully they win us over. <laughs> Dang, I just okay, so we're leaving. We were in there for like 30 seconds. So there's doesn't what time does it say they close? Eleven. Eleven? Yeah. It's ten oh six. So it's like they just kind of work on their own time out here. Yeah. Uh, and I saw something on the menu that I wanted. Look, we might have to go to KFC, McDonald's. Domino's pizza, but I mm, wanted like a nice hot meal. All right, we finally found a place, Gianni's. 
and they have valet parking, free valet parking. Woo! Child, I thought I was gonna starve tonight. Thank you. I just want to update y'all. You know, I don't like talking on camera with food in my mouth. Like I used to do it, and I hate the sound of smacking. So it really annoys me. But this restaurant has really good food. Roberto got so, some type of. Yeah, it's eggplant parmesan, and it is fire. Fire. But it's not your regular eggplant parmesan. I like breaded. Right. And I got risotto. Ooh. So we went to risotto the with shrimp. Shiny. Still see the fire? It's kind of dimming down in there, but it was blazing earlier. They doing some fancy stuff over there. That's a big thing of parmesan. He scraped it, and now they set it on fire with the whiskey. They have the pasta in that little pot. But like he's basically cooking a meal out here. That's so nice, y'all. <laughs> this is gonna sound real bad. <laughs> But Roberto has chauffeured me around this entire time we've been in the three days. Like, I haven't drove the car at all. And I am not mad at it. <laughs> I would ask, I would be like, you want me to drive? Are you sure? I'm like, nah, I'm good. I got it. <laughs> Anyways, now we're just getting some gas to fill up the rental. Take it back in the morning. And then that's it. It's been a good time. I kind of wish I would have had an extra day or two here in Aruba because when I was googling like it didn't really seem like there was a ton of things to do here so I was like okay three days should be enough but I really probably could have used the extra two days because my mom has been telling me to go to baby beach but I don't have time to do that because we leave tomorrow um and then that first place that I was telling you I wanted to go to um Palm Island or whatever it's called where they just have like a whole bunch of it's an all-inclusive little beach Whatever it is, like, I would have liked to do that, too. So, it'll be a trip that I come back to. No time soon, just because, you know, I like to hit other places, other destinations before I repeat the cycle. Um, so, yeah, it's been a really good trip, and I have really enjoyed it. The food today was really good. The food that we, like, our hotel, you know, hotel food is just hotel food. Like, basic. But that um, local restaurant we went to earlier today was so good. Coco... I don't know, Coco something. And then Gianni's, that Italian restaurant we just went to was really good as well. So it's been a good night. We're about to just head back to the hotel. So I'm going to go ahead and end out the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Day 11. Until tomorrow, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye.